Hello, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to set up LODs, um, which is a level of detail. This is incredibly handy, uh, used in a lot of games to basically reduce the poly count on stuff that's in the distance. So an example here, my first um, close-up LOD is 13,000 triangles. When I move to 1, it drops to 6,800 uh, triangles. And then when I pull right out, it's 137 triangles. So as you can imagine, stuff in the distance, that's great for huge in performance creases. Uh, you know, I've had it a lot where my scenes have been like 25 frames a second, and as soon as I've done this, it's rocketed your know, performance through the roof up to like 60, 70 frames a second. So it's it's, it's really useful in what to do. Um, so I'll show you how to do that. So I'll close this. I've got a simple project here. So let's have a looky. Um, we'll use this one. So this is uh, 13,000 again. As you can see, it's got no LODs. It uses the auto-generated LODs inside Unreal, um, which sometimes are good, sometimes aren't. But how to disable those, which is the important part. So over in the Details panel, over the right, type in Auto and turn off Auto Compute LOD Distances. So make sure that's unticked. Then get rid of the Auto that we've typed in the title bar, in the search bar, sorry. Then what we do, want to scroll down to Custom and under LOD Picker, tick. Scroll down again, just to close that. Um, so what we want to do here is number of LODs. I believe this can only go to five. I generally do three because that's all I need. So under number of LODs, type three and apply it. Let's just check. Oh, no, you can do up to eight. Right, so we'll just do three. So apply changes. So now what happens is we've got our first LOD, our second LOD, our third LOD. Now, always remember it's confusing, Some, sometimes it can be confusing because obviously LOD 1 is referred to as LOD 0 and LOD 2 is referred to as LOD 1, etc. So what we want to do is we want our close-up LODs to be obviously the best quality it can be because that's what the camera's going to see, that's what the player's going to see, etc. Um, so we'll just leave that as it is. So then we'll go down to LOD 2 and we'll say right at um, point 0.4 of the screen size. So you, this for me, I haven't yet found, I'm sure that there is something, um, a simpler way of doing this, but for me, I just do trial and error. And this basically says that when um, uh, when it reaches this screen size, switch to my ne my next LOD. So then what I'll do is I'll say I'll drop that down to 30 and apply changes. So that's the amount of um, polys you wanted to drop, or triangles that you wanted to drop. So then we'll scroll down to our second LOD. And I'll say, uh, say 0.1, and we'll do something ridiculous and drop that down to only 1% of its, its triangles and apply. Always remember to apply changes. Now, what happens here is our initial LOD is 0. Uh, LOD 0 is with max quality. Then as we pull out, LOD 1 is dropped down to 4,000. So as you can see there, it's gone from 13 to 4. And then LOD 0 is... 137 polygons or triangles so as you can imagine the amount of performance um, increases you gain obviously on a, if you have a big scene and you do this to all, all of those things it's huge you can also do um, things here so as you can see with LOD 1 so something that distance you might say uh, LOD, sorry LOD 2 something this distance you might say well I, I don't want the, the shadows on so what we can do here is go to our second LOD sections and you can disable the casting of the shadow on stuff so there you go it's disappeared um so then when we move closer the shadow will appear you've probably seen this a lot in computer games where you think oh that's just popped in you know um so but that obviously helps a lot you know and it might be this this say for instance this would be buried in a in a uh, a music scene so something like shadows you may not notice um as uh, as much but yeah as you can see there that is a huge huge thing that you must look into when when making assets etc so yeah hopefully if you find this helpful please give it a like and maybe subscribe thanks